Hello Pisces, this is Marina here and I will present you your November Astrology Horoscope. Okay, so let's see. First of all, we have the Sun in Scorpio in your ninth house until the 22nd of November. So, the main focus of your attention should be about your future and the goals that you have. It's time, you know, to set some new priorities for you and to realize what are your biggest dreams, your biggest goals and, you know, try to be more positive. Actually, uh, ninth house is one of the most positive houses in astrology. So when the sun is transiting this area of your horoscope, it suggests that something really positive might happen for you. You can be more optimistic, focused on the future, focus on your beliefs, um, you know, think about the things that you would like to achieve. Uh, also, if you would like to learn something new, start a new education, get some new, uh, new knowledge, then the Sunday Night House is wonderful for that as well. Finally, you may also decide to travel, to go to another places, to learn information about different cultures, to feel that, again, a wonderful time. And after the 22nd of November, the Sun enters Sagittarius in your 10th house. This is a wonderful transit for your career. You can focus on some practical stuff, starting some new business projects and actually get a lot of things done. Keep in mind that 10th house is the highest place of the horoscope. So it's visible from everywhere and for everyone. That's why Whatever it is that you do, when the sun is in your 10th house, it will be noticed by others. So, if you want to be appreciated for a certain thing, then this is the time to do that. This is the time to show that. If you want others to respect you or, you know, uh, to evaluate your work, this is also the time when you should make things visible and clear for others. So, generally, we can say that at the end of the month, you should focus on career and work and business and for some people it might be related with some new opportunities and um, even some new business projects. We also have a full moon in Taurus Scorpio. Okay, this is your third and ninth house. The full moon is on the 4th of November and it activates uh, the axis which is related with your future goals and your current reality. So you need to find the balance. You need, uh, you know, to be clear about what needs to be changed today in order to achieve your future goals. Uh, maybe you're not doing enough uh, currently or maybe you're not focused in the right direction. You can realize that you can change it now. You can also focus on everything which includes traveling and uh, education and some new skills that you may have and some visible results actually in this area of your life. We also have a new moon on the 11th of November, which is in Scorpio in your ninth house. A wonderful time for you to focus on your goals and to set some concrete new goals. So think about the future, uh, dream about the future, Focus on your beliefs, maybe change something, try to believe more and you will achieve visible results. The new moon, as usual, is the time when you can plant the seeds of something new which will grow for you in the future. So focus on your future because it's in your ninth house. Focus on your goals and try to be more optimistic. Okay, the other transit that we have is Mercury, which until the 5th of November is in Scorpio in your ninth house. This is also a wonderful transit for learning new things, for knowledge and information and um, for traveling as well. So yeah, you can really enjoy that time and the information can be really valuable for you. And after that, from the 5th of November, Mercury enters Sagittarius in your 10th house. Now, this is a transit which puts uh, the attention more on your work. 
a great time for some new business contacts, for negotiations, for business trips, for signing some new business contracts, uh, sharing your ideas with the world. Um, generally speaking, um, you can be intellectually very productive and active, especially in terms of work and business. And the other news that we have is Venus, which until the 7th of November is in Libra in your 8th house. Well, on an emotional level, this is not a beneficial position. It could be related with some painful experiences, uh, with diving deep in certain area which can bring you know some unpleasant emotions in some cases uh, for finances this is a great transit so uh, you can receive some financial support or maybe you can make some small investments generally speaking the area of finances is good but after the 7th of november venus enters scorpio and ninth house which means that you should have more pleasant emotional experiences when you travel, when you, uh, you know, connect with other people, when you focus on the future and your goals and uh, some new knowledge and spirituality and inspiration. And the best news is that on the 13th of November, Venus and Jupiter will make a conjunction in Scorpio in your ninth house. And this, my friends, is one of the best combinations because Venus and Jupiter are the two benefactors. So their positive influence is um, much stronger when they are together, both looking in the same direction in your horoscope. In this case, for you, it's ninth house. So it's a great time for, you know, focusing on the future, for focusing on some new goals, maybe receiving some support of, you know, abroad and going abroad and traveling to distant places can bring you a lot of luck and uh, some new opportunities. Some of you may find love abroad or, for example, your love may return, but generally speaking, a wonderful transit also because Actually, Scorpio is training your own sign. Scorpio and Pisces are, you know, in harmonious communication. That's why this transit is even more beneficial for you. So, guys, that's all that we have during November. If you would like to be informed, you can subscribe to my channel. You may also go to marsstars.net and sign up for an email updates there. Thank you very much for joining me and I will see you very soon.